Hey guys, so today we are making one of the most requested cakes from my itty bitty nephew. He wanted a wee bear bears cake. So that's what we're doing today. That's right, we're creating ice bear, grizzly, and panda. So let's get started. My name is Hoover. Nobody does it like you. Nobody does it like you thank you i'll be auditioning for american idol later this year to create this cake i am using three six inch round cakes they're very small cakes but i'm using three of them so it's about the same size as like a 10 inch round cake i'd say each of these cakes went through the exact same process and i kind of did them all together that's what now i'm leveling off the top of each of my cakes and then i cut them all in half riveting stuff isn't it each of the bears has the same face shape so i created a template placed it on top and just cut it out using a paring knife now i'm using a vegan cake recipe and whenever i create vegan cakes they crumble so much more than regular cakes i don't know why i think it's because there isn't eggs so i don't know they don't hold their shape when i'm carving them but that's okay because the icing makes up for it pulled away all of the extra cake and started to stack and ice them. So buttercream in the middle. I'm using a vanilla buttercream, but I'm imagining that it's like a, a wild honey and ricotta cheese buttercream. Oh gosh, I had that on a bagel once and it was to die for, it was so good. But nope, I'm sticking with vanilla because I don't actually have any recipes. Spread it out with my offset spatula and add my next layer of cake. Now I'm going to round out the edges just a little bit and then give this baby a crumb coat. Now, like I said, these cakes all went through the exact same process. So Grizzly and Panda, I'm doing the same thing. Icing in the middle, second cake on top, and then rounding out the edges before the crumb coat. After I gave all of my cakes a crumb coat, I placed them into the fridge to set and I was watching another episode of one of my favorite shows, Planet Earth. So Planet Earth is a nature documentary on Netflix, originally on BBC and Nat Geo. I was watching the episode called Fresh Water. So it shows you like all of the animals that like survive and live and thrive in freshwater environments. So beautiful. <laughs> you know when you go to like the Griffith Observatory or if you go to any sort of observatory, you sit in that sort of planetarium, right? That giant dome. They should show this in that dome. So you're just looking up at all these cute otters and crocodiles. God, can somebody do that? It would be so fun. If you haven't seen this show, what are you doing with your life? Get to it, it's so majestic, you'll love it. Or your money back, nope, no guarantees here. I took my cakes out of the fridge and I started to create my bears. So the first one I'm creating is Grizzly. I'm covering him with a large piece of brown fondant working that fondant all the way down the cake and then just pushing it underneath the cake with some fondant tools. I'm gonna pull away the excess and voila, my grizzly shape. Now using a little bit of magic sauce, I'm just gonna wet the places where I know his features are gonna be. Now I'm attaching two pieces of brown fondant to create his ears and then adding on his nose and his huge mouth. He looks so excited. Is he the most excited in the show? Can somebody tell me? Because I don't watch TV outside of Netflix. Is this show on Netflix? Maybe I'll watch if it's on Netflix. Oh, it is on Netflix. Okay, that's the next show I'm watching. And then I started to add some texture over his nose and gave him two black eyes. Our first bear was complete. I make a lot of animal cakes on this channel, so if you're interested in seeing more, I've got an entire playlist for you of creative, cute animal creations that I dreamt up. And some of them I just saw on Instagram and I was like, that needs to be a cake. There'll be links for you at the end as well as in the description box. Now let's move on to Ice Bear. So Ice Bear went through the exact same process, except I'm using white fondant. I covered my entire cake, worked it around my cake, with a fondant smoother and then just tucked it underneath the cake with some fondant tools. Pull away the extra, wet all of the places where his features would be and then I added some white ears with fondant. This is so simple, it's just like a curved line for his little sad mouth, another one for the top of his snout and then his nose. Is he the sad one in the show? 
Can somebody tell me? I haven't seen the show yet. But from the looks of it, he's not having a good time. Two bears down, one to go. Now let's make Panda. So Panda's starting off with white fondant. Just worked it on top of my cake and pulled away the extra. And then I added all of Panda's features. So I'm adding two oval shapes to create Panda's eyes. His nose, his snout, and a very cheeky smile. Now his ears are gonna be created with black fondant as well. And then I added two more pieces of black fondant to create his eyes. Now one thing that I realized about Panda is that you couldn't see the black eyes. So to create the black spots on the panda's eyes, I re-rolled them with a little bit more white so that they were kind of like a charcoal gray, which means that you can actually see his eyes. Now we have three of the cakes, but I didn't want to just have the cakes. I wanted to create that sort of scenario where they're standing on top of each other. Almost every picture I saw in Google image had them standing on top of each other. And I was like, let's recreate that. So I have this giant cake board. It's about like 20 inches. I added blue fondant onto it and I just wanted to cover the middle of the cake board. I cut away the extra fondant just following the edge of the circle and then started to add my bears. Ice bear goes on the bottom. Um, I'm adding two small pieces of fondant to create his back legs. And then I'm layering on top of that two larger pieces to create his front legs. On top of that goes Panda. So to create Panda, I'm using two small pieces of white fondant to create his back legs. And then two black pieces of fondant to create his front legs. He's going on top and we're moving on to Grizzly. So brown pieces for the back legs as well as the front legs and then Grizzly's head. So the blue is supposed to resemble the sky and I wanted them to be like standing on grass. So I'm sprinkling a little bit of coconut shavings that I dyed green on the bottom. And voila, my wee bear bear's cake was complete. This really looks almost like a painting, like a 3D painting. You've got these three cakes, but then I created this whole scenario just using fondant and the cake board. There aren't that many details to create these bears, but all of them have the right sort of temperament, right? The bottom one's very sad, the middle one's happy and joyous, and the other one's just like outrageous. Is that how he is in the show? Can somebody tell me? <laughs> now I decided to change it up a little bit in some of the pictures because I thought it would photograph better, so I created them on sort of like a pyramid stance with Grizzly on top. I think that looks cute as well, although it's not probably accurate to what's actually happening in the show. Now I'm curious how many of you like the Wee Bear Bears? And which one is your favorite character? Ice Bear, Panda, or Grizzly? Let me know in the comments below. And make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see all the videos I post on this channel as soon as they go up. I make a ton of cakes and you'll love all of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!